The film on BBC Two in 20 minutes is the story of young Cathy O'Fallon who falls in love with Canadian Mountie Sergeant Mike Flanagan. But little does she know of the hardship she will endure. Evelyn Keyes is Mrs Mike. Here on One in 25 Minutes, Simon Parkin introduces the morning edition of Children's BBC, which includes your birthday greetings and play days. But now, Rob Curling hosts another round of the word power quiz game, Turnabout. Uh, last children's BBC of the week as far as the mornings go. How are you today? Hope you're feeling all right. And if it's your birthday today, or indeed over the weekend, a very happy birthday. Fortunately, today we've got a tiny bit more time than we normally have during the week, so we can get through a few... Hang on, we can get through a few more cards, hopefully, as long as my math works. Anyway, here's the first one for Dominic Harries, who's four today. Very happy birthday to you. Lots of love from Mum, Dad and Simon. So, happy birthday. Obviously a big fan of Henry's cat there, with Henry's cat being on the front. And this one here has come from um, Kilburn in Derbyshire and says, Dear Simon, you are invited to a party on Saturday the 7th of April when Claire Cresswell will be five years old. If you cannot make it, please would you wish her a very happy birthday and send lots of love from Mum, Dad, Liam and Hovis the dog. So a very happy birthday, Claire. Hope you have a brilliant day tomorrow. And Claire incidentally did the card herself at play school. Now, in with the really wild show, this one. We start here, oops, with this picture and a rather clever and crafty dolphin comes up. As it gets there, you see, it can knock that up, which shows a picture of Jack Reynolds, who's three. So a very happy birthday, Jack. Lots of love from Mum, Dad, Tom and Kate. And Kate actually helped make the card, so thank you for that. And then you see the rest of it, you see? Dolphin then whizzes into the water. There's a bit of a splash, which is very clever, so thank you for that. If it is your birthday over the weekend, stand by. More, more cards coming up after Play Days. <laughs> Playdays is back on Saturday. Oh, you're picking your nose, Ben. <laughs> Playdays is back on Saturday morning and stops at the Wybird stop. It also stops at the Wybird stop on Monday. But when we we have... were doing cards first. Well, we have said. CBBC at Easter, but we'll do some cards first. I'll do. Right, go. Right, I'll go first. Thank you, because I'm the guest. This is a card to say a very happy birthday to Amy, who is three today, the sixth of April, with lots of love from Sandy, Dave, Mummy, and Daddy. And as camera one zooms in, you can see Amy there. So happy birthday to you. He's so bossy, he's only been here for about three seconds. <laughs> Hayley Young, very happy third birthday to you. If you have a look underneath this calendar, just next to Pinocchio's head, we can see her. Uh, three today, lots of love from Mum, Dad, Nan and Gramps, Granny and Grandad, and all the rest of the family. And she's having a party on Sunday afternoon, so we hope that goes well. Now, CBBC at Easter. Yep, Children's BBC at Easter starts on Monday morning at five past nine. We begin with Heathcliff, Cats and Co. We've also got a brand new series assignment of Why Don't You? Oh, brilliant. And on Monday, you know Bronwyn in Neighbours? Her real name's Rachel Friend, and she'll be doing a fashion show exclusively for us. And also, 
We're on on the bank holidays, Good Friday and Easter Monday, with special guest star, guest presenters as well. So that's CBBC at Easter, including a special CBBC 2 as well, in the middle Sunday, starting Monday morning at 9 o'clock. However, I must just say before we go, um, Tales of Aesop is on the Seesaw programme a bit earlier this afternoon at 10 past 1, and we'll see you on Monday. Bye, Simon. Bye, Andy. This is BBC One Scotland. Now, for the very last time this week, and for this series, it's time to join Scylla Fisher, Artie Tresize and Gary Copeland as we find out what's inside the singing kettle. <laughs> Children's BBC this afternoon begins at 10 to 4 with Henry's Cat, followed at 4 o'clock by A Bear Behind. And at 10 past, we continue around the world with Willie Fogg. I Spy is at 4.35, News Round at 5 o'clock, and at 10 past, the start of a new series, Round the Twist, all introduced by Andy Crane. In just over five minutes, we'll be joining Eamon Holmes and... Uh, but now the news. The news at 11 o'clock. Negotiations have resumed to try to end the siege at Strangeways Jail, now in its sixth day. The local chairman of the Prison Officers Association says he's confident the occupation is nearly over. The now familiar ritual at Strangeways as the men begin their day on the roof. With conditions becoming steadily more uncomfortable, there are signs that the prisoners are trying to get hold of anything they can. This morning, the local MP emerged to give a progress report on the negotiations. It's been a little difficult because they fragmented and wasn't talking to an entire group. Uh, but at the moment of time, um, you know, there is a, an air of confidence that at least they'll get more down today and slowly whittle them away. With the siege now in its sixth day, the frustration of those on the ground is becoming more evident. This morning, the mother of Paul Taylor, the prisoner who claimed to have started the revolt, was allowed into the jail. A short time ago, she was escorted away by prison staff. The Supreme Court in Dublin is due to give judgment about now on whether the former Sinn Féin MP Owen Caron can be extradited to Northern Ireland. Mr Caron, who was an MP until 1983, is appealing against an extradition order made two years ago. He faces charges of possessing firearms. And extradition is expected to be among the topics discussed by the Northern Ireland Secretary Peter Brook and the Irish Foreign Minister Jerry Collins, who are meeting in Dublin this morning. The two men are having informal talks on Anglo-Irish issues. They're also expected to talk about the role of the UDR and economic cooperation. At least nine people are reported to have been killed in a fresh outbreak of fighting between black groups in the Natal province of South Africa. The violence came after President de Klerk and Nelson Mandela had agreed to resume talks on the country's future. Mr de Klerk said he would consider demands for an inquiry into the police shootings in Sabokeng Township. Nelson Mandela was all smiles last night after his first meeting with South Africa's president as a free man. Describing the discussions as cordial and pleasant, he welcomed de Klerk's intention to set up a commission of inquiry into the Sebekeng shootings, the issue which led to the postponement of the first formal talks. President de Klerk also seemed in good spirits after the talks, expressing optimism for the future. He said new channels of communication were being introduced to try and prevent any further stumbling blocks to talks. A new report suggests that at least one in every 20 patients picks up an infection while in hospital. The Consumers Association magazine, which says this leads to longer waiting lists and costs the NHS millions of pounds. The WITCH report claims that doctors and nurses could reduce the risk of infections by simply washing their hands more often. WITCH claims hospital bugs cost the NHS about £115 million a year and tie up beds which could be used for other patients. If we're talking about one in ten people in a hospital ward being there because of an infection they picked up in hospital, we don't think that's acceptable. The Department of Health says steps have already been taken to reduce hospital infections and a study is already underway. That's all for the moment. The next news is at midday. 
Good morning to you. Lots of fine weather across the British Isles for the next two or three days. That means it's going to be fine for the Grant National on Saturday. Though I think there will be a drying wind, so the going looks as though it may be a little bit on the fast side. Let's have a look around Europe and see what's happening this morning. Quite a variety of weather. We've got some very strong winds coming out of the Sahara, bringing sandstorms with them down over Spain and Portugal. It's quite cloudy with showers, rain over parts of France, many central parts of Europe, quite cloudy with rain, some snow, some very heavy rain down over Rome. The best of the weather is over the British Isles and other northern parts of Europe, but up in Scandinavia, quite a bit of snow and quite cold too. The temperatures there around minus 20. Let's see what's going to happen over the next 24 hours or so, and we'll show a sequence of pressure rainfall, and then after that, I'm going to show you one of wind. But first of all, that pressure and rainfall. And here it's coming up in a second. There you can see down over Spain and Portugal, the area of low pressure, got quite a lot of rain circulating around it, or showers. Over northern parts of Britain, there's some rain over Scotland, but basically it's quite dry over the British Isles and much in northern parts of Europe. That snow in Scandinavia pushing away quite smartly. The winds there are going to be rather important too. Very strong winds circulating around that area of low pressure. Strong easterly winds through the English Channel, so it'll start to feel cool in many parts of southern Britain over the next 24 hours. And some strong winds in the central part of the Mediterranean. Those are those strong winds I showed you earlier, bringing those sandstorms out of the Sahara Desert. The detail then for today, much of Britain, fine, good deal of sunshine, but quite windy through the English Channel. Lots of sunshine through Holland, Belgium, Germany, right out through Poland into the Soviet Union. To the north of that, a good deal of clouds, some rain over northern parts of Scotland, and then in the very far north, it's a mixture of sunshine and wintry showers. Coming south into Spain, France, Portugal, lots of cloud showers, some prolonged spells of rain, and quite uh, a wet day over many southern parts of Europe, across the Alps, there'll be some sleet and snow, and out over towards the Black Sea, quite a few showers as well. The rest, well, it'll be bright and sunny, but quite breezy at times, and then later today we'll find that thicker cloud pushing north across France into the Channel Islands. Temperatures today, well, they'll range from the very cold, minus three in parts of Scandinavia, to the very warm, 22 over Malta. In between, well, it's still a little bit on the cold side in many places. And for the weekend, mostly unsettled, quite a few showers around, the British Isles getting some of the best weather. That's it for me. I'll be back in an hour's time. Why? Them and Us is a new series coming to BBC One soon, where you tell your story about them. I feel rather strongly about married men. Up against red tape, needless obstruction, petty tyrants. Drivers on the motorway who insist on driving in the middle or outer lanes when the inside lane is perfectly clear. Them and us will give you a chance to present your case. Don't suffer in silence. Why? Phone them and us on 01 895 6884. Now we join Eamon Holmes and Jane Irving for the main edition of Open Air. Just like being at the cinema, isn't it? Good morning and welcome to Friday's edition of Open Air in glorious Technicolor. Good morning and welcome to Open Air. And you can see now that Eamon's got a little bit of colour back in his cheeks. And uh, we're actually set for a programme with a distinctly nostalgic flavour today. Yes, we are indeed, because uh, we will be going back in time with uh, Pathé News. Now, some people would say...